And in tonight's Commitment 2014, no need to wait until Election Day to cast your ballot. Uh, early voting in Maryland is now underway. That's right. Today marks the first of eight days when Marylanders can cast their votes early for Maryland's next governor. 11 News reporter Lisa Robinson is live in Northwest Baltimore tonight with more details for us. Hi, Lisa. Hey, let me tell you some of the numbers that we just got in from the State Board of Elections. As of 5.06 this evening, some 35,357 people participated in early voting. That compares to the primary like this, 20,382 people came out for early voting during that time. Here at the Public Safety and Training Building, it's been a steady stream of people all day long. The Public Safety Training Center was busy as soon as the doors opened this morning. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake was one of the first to vote here. I thought I was going to get in and out, and, and uh, I was very pleasantly to, uh, surprised to see so many people here this morning, early voting. Early voting is so convenient. Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown didn't vote today, but his daughter did, voting for the first time in a general election. His opponent, Larry Hogan, has said he plans to vote on Election Day. But his daughter voted early, sending out a tweet to let everyone know she had cast her vote. Baltimore City Election Director Armstead Jones says there were no major problems and that by 2 p.m. they had 1,800 voters. Early voting sometimes uh, will probably give us 15% uh, maybe of the uh, voters will come out. They like early voting. It's convenient. Baltimore County reported no major problems as well. We would like voters to know that we have eight early voting sites. Our heaviest site is in Randallstown. We have a new site in Town. If you don't want to wait in line, it's better for you to go to Town and vote. Those who came out to vote today say early voting is the way to go, and it gives voters many options and few excuses to not exercise their right to vote. Because I can get it out of the way and do other things that I can do. I love it. Hope to never take it away. I'm a handicapped person, and uh, when I come out to the general election, it's always congested, and this is more convenient. And certainly things are picking up here at, uh, at this particular location as people are getting off from work. You can vote early from today through the 30th, and the polling places will be open from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Reporting live in Pimlico, Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.